What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to quickly explain to you the whole business structure behind my email marketing list and the principles that I apply from a business and marketing point of view to not only get more sales using email marketing, grow an email subscriber list, but also get people coming back for more. So this hopefully won't be a long video, but this is something that's sort of been recommended by you guys that I do. So I'm gonna draw up this whiteboard now, which I've done a very interesting doodle on, and this is a beat selling funnel, which is applying just principally to my email marketing list and how I grow an email marketing list and then get sales. So if you are new to beat selling, you haven't started email marketing list, and this is definitely the video for you. Uh, so those of you who already do my marketing might kind of know where this video will be going. But basically a funnel, normally this applies to marketing, Facebook marketing, because you have three different stages or three different tiers of ads, depending on what you need to do. The first tier being awareness, where you're trying to reach out to as many people as possible. Traffic is where from the people that you reached out to in the first lot, you're then trying to get them into a certain tier list where you can target them again and again to eventually get into the stage where they convert into a customer. And that's where you want people in tier three. You want them at the bottom as a conversion. And then as you see the arrow here, because once you've converted someone, they can go back into the traffic so you can talk to them again and again and again. And it's just a lovely cycle which goes around. So anyway, I'm gonna explain from the top down what each of these tiers mean so you can get the best understanding of how to structure your email marketing strategy. So the first one is awareness. Now this applies to any form of reaching out to artists or advertising to get emails. Because to grow an email marketing list, you need emails and you need ways to collect emails. Now, the best ways that I have found to collect emails is either to search artists on Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, and extract their email address, to reach out and message them and ask for their email address if they want to. And the other one is through that allowing Beats to be downloaded free on BeatStars for an email capture. Now that is the one that I most commonly push because that applies into my second one here. But for the awareness, most of the time, I am just getting email addresses through Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and I'm putting them into a list, which if you've seen my previous video on email marketing, you know I have a non-subscriber list and a subscriber list. So these people here, anyone I collect here, any email addresses in the awareness, they go into a non-subscriber list because they haven't willingly signed up to my subscriber list for my emails. So I'm not gonna put them straight in there because people who are in my email subscriber list, you want to give them good due care and attention, good deals and stuff like that. And you want to not really like push people straight into there yet because you're they're most likely gonna unsubscribe because they haven't willingly signed up to it. So in the awareness, we're just collecting email addresses and I said through the ways that I've already said, with the sole purpose and now getting them down to the traffic, which is the incentivize. So once you've got the email addresses, you now want to get them to stick into tier two. So you will send, you'll reach out to them. You'll maybe send, either send them a message on Instagram or you will message them in the non-subscriber list and emails with the sole purpose of trying to get Beats downloaded for free to collect their email address. Now you may say, why do you need to collect their email address if you've already got their email address. Well, again, as I said, because they're in the non-subscriber list, we, we're not gonna put them in the subscriber list unless they're willing to go there. And the way I best find it most natural and organic to do is to get them basically to agree that they want to join a subscriber list through free downloads. So if you have a BeatStars account or maybe you've got a pro page, there is always the option, if you allow your beats to be downloaded for free, to exchange that for an email address and it says in the fine print of the box that pops up when they download it that they'll be subside they'll be subscribing to an email marketing list so basically when you incentivize people this could be for youtube as well so you can have your link below and always advertise beats to be downloaded for free not just push straight for the sale but if you're pushing people to download beats for free you're getting sign ups to subscribers without having to get a conversion because you don't have to have someone on your strong subscriber list just because they purchased the beat. It is always good, but it's just good to have them in that subscriber list because once you've got them in there, that's when you can really start pushing through the emails. And that's when the third category comes into play. So again, to this point, what I've explained is we are really trying to push free downloads. That's something that I do heavily on my email marketing because 
People who are on the website, you've got to think like an artist. Most people aren't going to buy a beat the first time they hear it, and that's just the honest truth of it. So what we want to do is allow them to download the beat for free, write over it and fall in love with the track for themselves so they go back and purchase it. So that's why it's good to allow them to download the beat for free. Then you have them on this tier two, the subscriber list, and then after a week, two weeks, a month, you can then just keep advertising, saying you've got new beats in store, or you can send out discount coupons just specifically for subscribers, or exclusively is a better word to use. And then they might think, actually, I've written something good over it. There's now a discount. I'm actually gonna go and buy the beat. So then that's when you get from here to here. So now you've made money, you've kept them in the loop of things, you've offered them discount or good customer service is one way to put it, and you've turned them into a tier three, a conversion. Now. Obviously, you now want a loyal customer, so it doesn't end here. That's where this arrow comes in, because now they've purchased, they go back into the traffic again, and then you're sending out the subscriber emails every single week, trying to get them to go back to your beat store, incentivize, as always, with the free downloads, the discount coupons, and keep getting people to go back to your store and purchase the beat. So then that's just in the loop. So once you've got someone in the subscriber list, tier one doesn't even apply. But the reason why tier one is still equally important because you always want to be trying to feed people into the subscriber list because this is how you're going to be growing your subscriber list through awareness. So hopefully that's the best way I could have explained it. But basically the most important thing that you have to always remember when you're growing an email subscriber list is you really need to just be promoting yourself in as many different avenues as possible and getting traffic to your website or beat store because that's most important. If you want to go through the route that I do as well, collecting email addresses and going into the non-subscriber list, it's something I highly recommend because if you're a freelance music producer, you can then also start to sell your services and songwriting that. But you've always got to be careful because remember, you want to make the best impression on these people. You don't want to spam them out so they never want to join your email subscriber list because they can actually subscribe from your non-subscriber list if they so want to. And that's fine, allow them to do it. Just make sure you're always building up that non-subscriber list so that's always your potential reach. Send an email out to them, I'd say every once a week, and advertising beats. And then once you've got them on the free download, then you can add them across to the subscriber list and build it that way. But yeah, guys, that is basically how I grow my email subscriber list. It's very effective, it's worked to date. I think I started email marketing about four months ago now, and the results have definitely been good. I've definitely got so many more sales than I would have if I haven't. I can't put exact numbers to it, been put on the spot in this video, but if you're not email marketing as a beats already, it's something you definitely need to consider. So I hope I explained this well enough to you. If you do have any more questions or anything you think I missed, comment below and I'll be happy to answer the questions for you. But yeah, guys, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Smash the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and keep making music. I'll see you in the next video.